Good morning, everybody. So today I'm just gonna be outside watering. It's been really hot here. It's still mid-September. However, we just haven't had any rain and I just cannot keep up with the amount of watering. Um, I had to go ahead and put new batteries in my drip system, which I haven't used all summer. And I'm really proud of that. But right now I'm just having to use it just to give me a little bit of help. I need some help in the garden. I think he's mad at me. So I'm outside trying to enjoy the morning before it gets too hot. Um, just took Elton for a walk, but yes, it did take you for a walk. So I thought I'd water a little bit today and take you with me, maybe do a little chat while I water. We're keeping up with some things in the pots. We have this umbrella plant that's doing really well. I've uh, taken some things, consolidated them, just trying to prepare for the fall when I have to bring all of this in and making it a little bit easier um, on myself and just to not overcrowd my house. I have a really small house, guys. These plants could easily take over my house. Last year, I tried putting everything in the greenhouse and it didn't really work out great. I'm gonna give it a try this year again and I'm gonna put a space heater in there. I don't really like the idea of a space heater. It makes me nervous with fire a little small compact one that I'm hoping will keep the temperatures just just above freezing if we do get a freeze but yeah I gotta start using this greenhouse I had this thing built and it's just kind of it's been too hot so I might as well try to use it in the cold and if for any reason it just fails me again I'm just gonna call it quits and just know that next time I don't know what the next time is gonna be I don't think I'd ever build another greenhouse. Oh, that hurts to say. So these are still some of the plants that I potted up the other day. Um, I sold a few of them. Um, just kind of soaking them down, giving everything a really good drink. I mean, honestly, I've only had to really do this maybe every three days, so it's not terrible. But I'm hoping to get rid of some of these so I don't have to overwinter them. I went ahead and propagated and I'm hoping that when we do have our fall market that I'll be able to go ahead and sell some of these to other people and then they can overwinter them and hopefully get some good blooms and joy out of them. These are indoor and outdoor. These are bougainvillea. It was one plant I propagated into four. So even if I could just kind of sell them for a decent price and recover some of the money. I mean, it would be kind of like free gardening, right? These are some red yucca that I pulled out of the front and I have to repot these. I was just sort of thinning them out and my plan is to possibly put them around the yard and start using some of the plants that I have already. Um, I'll probably get to that this week. I just haven't gotten to it yet. And here's my little succulent cactus. I'm just gonna give them a quick little, little drench. It's been about a week. My last video, I realized that there's a huge wasp nest right in the corner of my greenhouse. So my dilemma is, do I spray them and kill them? I did a whole video and they didn't bug me so I'm kind of torn. I don't know if I should kill them because I don't really want a wasp nest in my greenhouse but then I'm like I mean they didn't really hurt me so why should I hurt them? Do you go through these struggles? So a lot of times when I have things in my garden that I don't particularly want I do tend to leave them. I just feel like I might have left my faucet on the entire night, guys. That's slightly terrifying. Normally I can hear that in the house, like the water running, and I didn't hear it. So here I am trying to, cons you know, conserve water, and I think I wasted a lot last night. I guess that's gonna show up on my water bill. So yeah, you can already tell how hot it is. It's 9.30 in the morning, and I'm already sweating, which is fine. A little sweat is good for you, right? So I moved around a few things. These are some topiaries I had in a garden, and I decided to go ahead and put them at the head of this pathway that leads to a very sad butterfly garden. 
and I moved these cypress knees here and I was trying to create like a little fall theme. I was thinking about putting something for like kids or animals to take pictures around like some hay and some pumpkins and I still haven't quite gotten to that but it was an idea. And this is what happens if I don't water in just two days. Everything just is droopy. They do need some water. I'm gonna have to work on this butterfly garden a little bit better next year. Hopefully some things will come back. So this is walking back up my path and these are my bougainvillea that are looking a little sad, but I do have a little, look at that. I got some bracts coming up. Pretty cool, a little stress. And they do weird things, but they do need some water. Here's some more. So I know I've told you before, these little bright colored leaves that you see on bougainvillea are actually bracts. And then there's a little flower that comes out the middle. It's actually the flower. I keep getting a stink eye from Ricky. I'm gonna have to take him for a walk, no doubt. So I'll have to come through and water my pots. But in the meantime, I have my drip irrigation down here working for me. And all I'll just do is just focus on what's in the pots for now. And I could put a drip line in there, and maybe I should, but I really do enjoy being out here doing it a little bit by hand. Just need a little help. So this is a pot I bought at the beginning of the summer at Lowe's. And I try to let it dry out a lot because they have it planted in some really good, rich soil. And honestly, that's not really ideal. So I'm gonna probably go ahead and once I clean this all out, I'll top it off with just some good cactus soil and rock. So I think it should be good from there. That'll definitely have to be overwintered and I probably won't take a chance to overwinter that in the greenhouse because it was an investment um, and I'll probably bring that inside beautiful that is so a lot of things are just going dormant right now and this is not really my favorite thing right now but I have to deal with it so we have the butterfly guara that's just sort of going dormant and drying out but it comes back every year it has a little movement these are some of the golf mollies that put out the purple or pink plumes these are some of the red yucca that I pulled out from the main plant hoping that those will take. Add some interest in here. And this is just a pot that I brought out with some ponytail plant. So nothing too exciting going on in the garden, but this is where some of the, the hardscaping and the accessories that I put in will kind of come into play, including this one chime that I painted the same color as my red pots to kind of tie those two things in. I'm not trying to be too matchy, but I like things to kind of coordinate. For example, this little moped thing, it's not a thing, it's a planter. This moped planter, I try to pull the colors from that. Another pot that I really love, um, I can't move it from the spot because it is actually broken. It cracked during the freeze, so I just leave it in place and just let it be. But I love some of the colors in here especially that blue i think it's really pretty i bought blue pots and i have those scattered in the yard and i think it ties in really well with that let's not forget these planters those two go with that mexican pottery that i have it's gorgeous so i guess i do have a little bit of a rhythm to the garden i'm pulling in the same type of color same family of color well, even my dog matches. I don't even know what this is. It just popped up in my planter. But it has these little yellow flowers. I think it might be a sweet pea. But I don't have sweet peas anywhere in my gardens. So it must have hitchhiked with another plant that I bought. Maybe the vinca. Evergreens here are ones that I bought on the clearing track for $7. That's been a great investment. Those go right through the winter. I haven't had to pull those in at all. 
So I hope I don't sound like a broken record, but I hope someday to live somewhere where I can plant more than what I'm able to plant here. Because we're so limited. And I don't like to be limited. I like to plant and garden. Hey. So that's gonna be our video for today. Um, just doing some gardening around the house, watering, keeping up with things. Not really buying much more because it's going to be fall and I don't want to have to overwinter that. And I just want to spend time with this guy. And he doesn't care, but I care. And it gives him and I both a really pretty place to be and to garden. Let me know in the comments if you have a dog and if your dog likes spending time with you in the garden. I think he's ready to go inside now though. You ready to go inside, bud? He just wanted water.